Oh. How do you dr Oh, I was about to say, like, how the hell do you drop items that's still living? I think this is gonna be the one where I find it in, like, a toilet or something. Because it's not in here. Oh. <laughs> okay. There we go. Tuxedo jacket. Oh, I need one more thing. Okay. So there's one more room we haven't checked yet, but I don't know where it is, so we're just going to go find the door that isn't open. So that's open. That one's open. 102 I haven't... 102 I haven't checked yet. Yeah, right here. Oh, it's a bunch of babies. Oh, no, it's two babies. And a little one. I think I'm going to sneak this way. And give him the Reedus. And then take out these two. Oh, fuck, fuck, I gave him the light. Left hook of justice. Ow. Thwack. Ow. Pow. Alright, here we go. Guess the first place, though, is the common place to check. Yep. And the gloves. That's it! Now that you've got a complete tuxedo, the doorman will let you into the ballroom. Alright, now it's time to get the fuck out of here and then go find Murray so he can go bust some shit up, too. Can't just have all the fun. Polly Pocket. Yeah, the boy version was Mighty Max, right? They had a lot of stuff. Like, notice that. There's a lot of, uh... Uh, yeah. A lot of, uh, boy versions of girl toys. Um, one thing I do remember them doing a lot when I was younger, and I fucking hated it. Was I the only... They still kind of do it today. Was I the only one that hated it when I was little? That, like, when I wanted a toy of a certain character, like, say, it's Ninja Turtles, Batman, Iron Man, you know? Stuff like that. Was I the only one that, like, didn't like when they had, like, really retarded versions of those characters? Like, what I mean is, like, for example, if I wanted a Leonardo toy from, uh, the Ninja Turtles, there was never just a Leonardo toy. There was always, like, uh, Karate Chop Action Leonardo, or, like, uh, Mega Kung Fu Fighting Leonardo with, uh, Battle Armor. Like, there was always... There was always, like, something extra. I remember that. I hated that when I was little. I just wanted, like, the normal toy. Like, Batman. I just want fucking Batman. I don't want... Like, I don't want fucking Gotham City Police Batman. Or, or uh... Ready for... Ready for action mega muscle Batman. Or... You get what I mean, right? Like, I... I, I hated that when I was little. So that's why, like... Uh... I really cherished... The few toys that I had that were just normal. Or, like, laser sight space Batman, and he's got, like, fucking laser eyes and shit. I hated those toys, man. He said, ooh. I just wanted them normal. That's all I want. Can't give me, just give me normal. That's all I want. I want regular ass motherfucking Batman. You got your tuxedo now, sir? Yeah. Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. Your tuxedo disguise is working perfectly. No one will recognize you in that outfit. Now, during the heist, you'll need to dance with Carmelita to keep both her and the crowd distracted. The only problem is, she's picky about dance partners, so you'll need to impress her first. What? All right, I know just the girl for the job. Constable Neela, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry. Do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? You aren't by any chance here to turn yourself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté. What the fuck? Even though he's still wearing his... Okay. Try to memorize the steps. Now your turn. Hopefully this one isn't way off sync like the first game. 
Triangle, triangle, circle. Triangle, triangle, circle. Circle, triangle, X. X, triangle. No, oh, fuck! <laughs> okay, there we go, triangle, circle. Circle, triangle, circle. Are you using me to get at old iron sides? Yes, I am. Do you mind? Not at all. It's fucked up. This is fucking bootleg, man. I think it's crazy that they can't recognize him, even though he's still wearing his, his like thief stuff. Oops. That fellow is very graceful. If only you moved spice shipments as well. Um, silence. <laughs> Shut up. Circle, circle, X. Oh. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you, Constable Neela. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd, Neela. Your friend here is quite an accomplished dancer. I tried to make him look good. Please, Neela. His skills far surpass you. Perhaps Fucked later up. you and I might share a dance, Miss... Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. Don't. What the fuck is I got booty points. Alright then. That's it. I, 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 I don't understand. <laughs> okay, the, all right. All right. <sighs> that was pretty cool, you know. You know, a nice change of pace in a very sort of time-wasting kind of whatever. Fuck it. Let's go find uh, Big Draws McGraw, Murray. Oh, he's up in here, so we can switch. Ah, you know what? The whole like safe house. Every time like any kind of game has something to do with a safe house, reminds me of Alpha Protocol. God damn, that game was bad. But it was. I I can understand. I don't know what was wrong with it. Uh, I guess besides the fact that it was terrible. It wasn't that bad. Um, I, I think I remember when I had it, I think just the big problem I had with it is it had just really, really disgustingly bad frame rate issues. Uh, that was the only problem that I had with the game, personally. Any game that has, like, really bad frame rate, or... or Should've killed that guy. Or, like, really bad textures kind of, like, takes me out of the feel of the game. Because, you know, when I play a game, I want to get, like, into it. Like, I want to, you know, like, immerse into the environment. It's really hard to get into something when it's really choppy or really, uh, when the textures are just fucking balls. Well, I don't mean if they are. I just mean they take, like, forever to load. Like, texture popping. It's annoying. It's annoying! Because you guys know me from the infamous walkthrough that small things really drive me fucking insane. I wanna get the shit knocked out of you too, bitch! Looks like it's about to be a brawl. <laughs> Two points! Where the fuck am I going? 
I need to get on this roof. But back on that stuff. Now, how do you get up there? Fuck. Um. Yeah, really, how do I get up there? Do I just jump on that thing? It's like that just brings me right there. Huh. Would this launch me all the way up? Nope, just right there. I jump on this thing? Nope. The fuck do you get up there? Um. Yeah, was I. Do you guys. When I was talking about the whole toy thing, do you guys like the. The like 50 different versions of Batman and stuff like that? I guess if you wanted different versions, it made sense, but I honestly just wanted. You know, regular Batman. <laughs> Not, uh. I don't know. Spacesuit Batman or. Uh, Korean Kung Fu Batman! It was shit like that. I know I did love those backflipping Ninja Turtles, though. Chopper is a menace to all future aerial operations while on this job. Yeah, it's all covered in missiles and guns and stuff. Now be a team player and take it out with that rusty pre-war turret. Okay, I had a potato gun once. I bet it works just the same. It's fucked up, man. Why you talk about? Rajon, Rajon, how do you say it? I don't even know how to say his fucking name. Hit buttons fast to keep your strength up. They said, wait, oh, pressing circle, square, X, or triangle. Hit buttons fast to keep your strength up. I was pressing, he just stopped doing it. Oh, that's Metal Gear. <coughs> oh, shit. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. After playing fucking the first Metal Gear on hard and that part when you need to survive the torture, now that teaches you how to be a champion. I love how adorable this is. Holy shit! I am attempting, Murray! No, you're Bentley! Shut up! Oh yeah, you're getting jacked, buddy. I love how this gun, like, instantly stops overheating. Okay, come on, come on, missile. There we go. Damn! Come on, come on. Come on, man! There we go. Ah, oh, shit. This is really do that, man. <laughs> Tilt the world! Tilt the world! You know what game I really, really would love to do a playthrough with, but I'm not sure if I could ever beat it because the game is fucking hard? Anybody ever played Zombie Revenge? I remember I used to play the shit out of that game in this arcade close to my house that closed down. A long time ago, I had like my birthday there a few times. But Zombie Revenge, man. I can remember the constant fucking quarters put into that game. Metal Slug and Zombie Revenge. Those are like the two games I'd always look for whenever I go to an arcade. Maybe Tekken. But always at least Metal Slug. But I'd love to do a playthrough on Zombie Revenge. I actually would love to do it with Link because I used to always play it at his house. Uh, I think he broke my first one and then I had to buy it again. He's broken a lot of my shit. Come to think about it. Well, broke my Marvel vs. Capcom 2. He's probably watching this and going, Man, I, I replaced it. The fuck, you broke it! In the first place! But, um, I remember we have uh, two copies of Zombie Revenge. But, um, not sure if they still work. We're gonna test it out soon. That game is fucking awesome and fucking hard. <laughs> I think I was only ever to beat it, uh... Oh, come on. I was only ever able to beat it with, um, this, like, game mode where if you get a headshot, it, like, instant kills or does, like, 90% damage or something. Because, you know, if you hold your gun on a target for a long period of time, the reticule turns red and you get a headshot. Yeah, I think I was only ever able to beat it with that mode turned on. God, that was a long and annoying.
love how I was just having this. Don't 